German style. So a German style crepe is uh, lemon sugar and, and whipped cream. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Thanks for joining us. Uh, tonight we want to talk to you about something really delicious. We want to talk to you about Crepe. crepes. Yummy. Yeah. Well, uh, as you all know, we went to Paris for a family vacation and one of the things I really wanted Joe and Lila to try were crepes. You can, you can get crepes here, but they're not as common like street food as they are in Paris. They were really, really good. Um, to describe it, because I'm not, I haven't really had them before, um, think of it as a thin pancake. Um, basically, it's made out of a buckwheat flour, and the reason Is why. Is it? Yeah. I didn't even know that. And buckwheat. it doesn't um, doesn't get as big as a pancake because they don't put baking soda or baking powder in it, so it stays thin. And, wow. Um, they also uh, usually they come in like two types, two flavors, savory and sweet. I like savory. I like the sweet. Cause I'm not much of a sweet person. But it's a really nice snack. Like when you're coming home from the bar, or the cafe late at night and they're everywhere. They smell so good and there's hundreds of options. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, you could find them in restaurants all around the different True. places, cafes. And also you find a lot of kiosks that sell them, you know, like just crepes and like, you know, drinks, so um, coffee and stuff. So, you know, they're a good um, snack to have while you're sit, have a sit down snack or also to grab on the go while you're walking around checking things out in Paris. That's true. That is one of the, the rare foods in Paris where you won't get funny looks if you're walking around and eating it because uh, food to go and coffee to go is not really a thing in Europe like it is in the States. Like to go food's huge. So uh, yeah, if you're walking around with a crepe, it's, it's all good. It's all good. And they're pretty inexpensive. Um, the night we went out looking for crepes, uh, we didn't want to spend too much money, so we just uh, looked at how much all our coins that we had in our, in our pockets, and we had about 10 euros, and we were thinking, hopefully this is enough for, yeah. for a crepe, maybe two. <laughs> And on the Republic Square, we were at Cafe Republic, literally next door, was Chez Georges, and it was a crepery. So on the way back to the apartment where we had to pack up to leave the next day, we got um, a crepe to go. It was a really nice way to kind of end cap off our vacation in Paris with um, some sweet crepes. I'm not much of a sweet person, but I do like lemon desserts. So I got a really simple crepe with sucre, which is sugar, and citron lemon. So it's just sugar and lemon and the, and the crepe. What did you and Miley get? I forget. We got the strawberry um, crepe. So basically it was the crepe and um, like a nice sweet uh, strawberry jam in there. Was there whipped cream? Or no. Ch chocolate? No, just straight just strawberry? Just strawberry. Um, mm. I think we would have added um, whipped cream, but it was extra and we weren't really sure if we were going to have enough. So we just, yeah, that would have we, been We ordered inexpensive <laughs> at the time, but um, it was really good. Uh, I mean, if, if there was whipped cream in there, oh gosh, you know, that would have been mm. even better. because um, uh, So, I hear the crepe was made by accident. Yeah, that's what I read. I don't know the details, but um, it was like 1895 and the guy who made it, made it on accident. So that was a... Uh, that's so crazy yeah. because the ice cream cone was invented in Paris at the 1906 World's Fair by accident. A lot of good stuff by accident. Mm -hmm. What kind of crepe would you order? Would you do sweet or savory? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like what you heard, hit the subscribe button down there as well. And then you can get notifications whenever we have new content out. Also, and check out our website and check out our blogs, please. Yeah, good stuff. Thanks everyone, thanks for stopping by. Hit subscribe. Check out our blog. <laughs>